and welcome to the CAC and M guys so today we will start the, the thermodynamics topic uh, part number 4 perpetual motion machine so first of all we will discuss the, what is the meaning of perpetual motion machine and then we will conclude and uh, discuss the different types of perpetual motion machine so let us start with the PMM perpetual motion machine so PMM perpetual motion machine is the hypothetical machine what is it it is the hypothetical it is the hypothetical machine which is impossible to construct which is impossible to construct which is impossible to construct and the PMM perpetual motion machine are the those type of the machine which violate the which violate the first law second law and third law of the thermodynamics third law of the thermodynamics so we can say that the perpetual motion machine are the imaginary machine or the hypothetical machine which are not possible in the real existence or the real working condition so now we will define the how many types of the perpetual motion machine so there are the three types of the perpetual motion machine basically so we are dividing the perpetual motion machine in the three part PMM1, PMM2 and the PMM3 ok guys so let's first discuss the perpetual motion machine of the first kind perpetual motion of machine of the first kind so it is impossible because it violate the first law PMM first kisko violate karta hai? it violate first law of thermodynamics it violate first law of thermodynamics so PMM first happen ko kya dhyan rakhna hai ye kisko violate karega aapna ye first law of thermodynamics ko kya karta hai? violate karta hai isliye kya hota hai ye possible nahi hai it is impossible because it is it violate the first law of thermodynamics according to this law here we are taking the device let's suppose it is the heat engine and uh, heat engine is working and work done is work is work is done without getting any heat from the source so without getting the energy from the source the engine is working so it is impossible because it violated the first law of thermodynamics because when the when we supply the some energy then it can be transferred to the work but how it is possible that the nothing nothing is provided to run a heat engine and work is done so it is impossible ok guys so second one is the PMM second perpetual motion machine of the second type it is impossible because it violated the second law of the thermodynamic it violated the second law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics and such type of the machine or such type of the machine will absorb continuously heat from the single thermal reservoir that is the speciality hai ki PMM2 kya karta hai apna ek single thermal reservoir se kya karega apna single thermal reservoir se kya karega heat ko accept karega aur usko kis mein change kar dega work mein change kar dega aur heat rejection kya ho jayega apna heat rejection will be equals to the zero Single, single thermal reservoir se heat aayegi aur wo puri ki puri kis mein convert ho jayegi work mein convert ho jayegi according to the PMM second which is impossible because it violates the second law of the thermodynamics ok guys so here is the heat engine heat engine is getting the heat from the heat source heat source se energy ko receive kar raha hai Q heat is defined ki and supply ki aur yahan se kya ho raha hai work done ho raha hai kitna W work done ho raha hai which is equals to the Q and the Q rejection is equals to 0 
according to the PMM second. So when we will find the efficiency, efficiency is the net work done upon heat supplied which is equals to 100% because the net work done is the W which is equals to Q so the efficiency will 100 so we cannot even construct an engine which will produce the 100% work or 100% run on the 100% efficiency ok guys so next one is the PMM third perpetual motion machine ka third type of PMM third hai. according to the this it is impossible to construct because it violates the third law of thermodynamics. Ye kis ko violate kar hai? Apna third law of thermodynamics. Ko kya karta hai? Ye apna violate karta hai. To isko banana impossible ho jayega. PMM third kya claim karta hai? Ki it it claim to maintain the motion forever once started. अगर किसी चीज का क्या हो गया है मोशन स्टार्ट हो चुका है तो वो क्या करेगी हमेशा क्या करेगी मोशन में ही रहेगी अकॉर्डिंग टू द पीएमएम सेकंड बट इट इज इंपॉसिबल अकॉर्डिंग टू द पीएमएम थर्ड देयर इज नो फ्रिक्शनल फोर्सेस प्रेजेंट फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इज इक्वल्स टू 0 और वी कैन सेट द वी कैन कंप्लीटली एलिमिनेट द completely eliminate completely eliminate the frictional force which is again the impossible the, all the statement of the PMM third are the impossible so the PMM from the all of the three types we can conclude that the perpetual motion machine are the hypothetical machine which are impossible to construct because they are not follow the rules which are given by the thermodynamic. So thank you guys. और आज का session आपको पसंद आया होगा. So for the more lecture of the thermodynamics, subscribe our channel. Thank you.